So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to work on the design of the navigation bar. So for the navigation bar, first I'm going to open up the style.css and in the style.css, I'm going to first start working on the nav bar. So if you check the if you check here the index, you will find that we have here a class called navbar, which is a bootstrap class. I'm going to be using it to edit the design further. I'm going to say navbar, and the navbar here. I'm going to change the following. First, I'm going to change the font size. So the font size of the navbar font size. So the font size is going to be 16 pixels. And the padding top, I'm going to add some padding top. The padding top is going to be uh, 2 REM, important. And I'm going to change also the padding bottom. Padding bottom. The padding bottom is going to be also 2 REM, important. Important. And for the uh, top and uh, left will be 0. The top is going to be zero, and the left is also going to be zero. Let me now refresh, and there will be more space. Uh, next, I'm going to work here on the uh, the. Remember, we have here in the nav index, you will find that we have the nav light, nav bar light, and we also have the nav link. So I need to access the nav link because I want to edit uh, these buttons, the design of these buttons. So to access these buttons, we can say here dot nav bar light and then dot nav bar nav and then dot nav link. So for the nav link, which is this nav link for these buttons, the design is going to be like this. First, I'm going to change the padding. I'm going to say padding, padding. The padding top and bottom is going to be 0, whereas the right and left is going to be 20 px. And for the color, change the, I'm going to change the color to black color. And the transition, transition point for ease. So what is the transition? The transition is just a point for is seconds. So the transition is just uh, an amount of time where the the uh, the element uh, will pass through that time in order to be displayed completely on the screen. So it's gonna take these buttons 0.4 of a second to be to be completely displayed on the screen it's not not very not noticeable but the but uh, it adds an effect that will make the website look amazing you will find that later you'll find that shortly uh, next I'm gonna work on the uh, uh, the hover effect of the of these buttons. So if, if I if I hover over these buttons, I need to display another color. Therefore, I'm going to say here dot. Let me, let me copy this and instead of repeating all of this. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it here. And instead, I'm going to say here comma and then I'm going to say dot nav bar I hover and also for the buttons I'm gonna say comma and then I'm gonna say here link and then um, dot active and also here but for the uh, for the nav link itself I'm gonna say hover so for the hover and then comma and then for the eye and also for the active and also for the dot nav bar I hover so this for the hover for the link for the links for these links 
for these links and also for these eyes for these eyes as well as the active for the active and for the um, uh, here the uh, here by the way I have this twice I should I should say here not comma we need to remove this comma so here only nav bar active uh, and then dot nav bar hover so the color is gonna be the coral it's a orange color let me now refresh and show you now if I hover over these buttons the color will be uh, will be uh, uh, orange which which looks amazing next let, let's work on the eye which is which is this we need to add some space because as you can see they are very close to one another so we need to add some space to add some space to these I'm gonna say nav bar I and then I'm gonna add first I'm gonna change the font size so the font size is gonna be 1.2 rem and I'm gonna also change the uh, padding and the transition so the padding the padding is gonna be zero so top and uh, top and bottom where uh, and 0.7 pixels right and left for the transition I'm gonna add a transition so the transition is gonna be 0.4 seconds is and then finally I'm gonna add a font weight and cursor so font weight the font weight font weight the font weight is gonna be uh, 500 and the cursor cursor pointer because I want to uh, whenever I hover over it I want it to be uh, shown so as you can see here if I hover over it it will be uh, different in terms of the color and by the way if you uh, font weight if you remove the font weight and refresh back it will as you can see it will be filled and if you add the font weight and uh, refresh, the they will be um, uh, they they will be empty. So you can add the, the color you can add the the color by just removing the font weight if you want. Finally, I'm gonna increase the space further. So I'm gonna add some space here. I'm gonna say margin margin left. So the margin left is gonna be five px. And let me refresh and as you can see there will be some space 